one of the first people that Lorraine told me about is your parents, Bailey, mm -hmm. and how their wedding happened. And I think you're all good at this <laughs> last minute weddings. <laughs> and it took them all this distance and it'll take you that far too and further. I don't know in your mom's garden if she has stepping stones, but what I want to tell you is just some little stepping stones that you could use. Because you know, stepping stones help us not get in the mud or <laughs> give us even footing in life. So I heard that the hymn that was chosen at your parents' wedding was number 230. Lord, in our need, we come to thee. And so I've been looking at that song and I, I just thought of prayer being one of the stepping stones because that is the hymn. It's a prayer. Lord, in our need, and humble us, guide us, and use us. If we can stay small and keep humble, we, we can have a wonderful relationship. Humility is beautiful and a union. And so prayer is a step, is a, like a little stepping stone. Use it, walk on it, take it, make it practical in your life and all the choices you're going to make because you know, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of choices. He says, humble us, guide us, use us. And now the language changes. It's us. It's not me. It's not mine. It's ours. It's us. The next little stone I'd like to talk about is just be flexible. Keep flexible. It's a, a good way. You know, hills and valleys are going to come. They will. But keep flexible. Be willing to bend to the situation, to each other, to each other's will. It'll be beautiful. Don't lose your sense of humor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good in relationship to have a sense of humor. And then she told about this verse in Isaiah. It's Isaiah 51 and verse 2. Look to Abraham, your father and to Sarah who bore you, look to them. And the point she wanted you to know and that these two people knew is that they walked by faith. And really, you don't know what tomorrow, next year's gonna be. This, we never would have dreamed this was gonna be the way your wedding was gonna be, right? <laughs> it's, but walk by faith. Today we've come together to witness the creation of a new family. Bryson Dean Vander Maiden and Bailey Shane Bryan have come here today pronouncing their love for each other and their desire to be joined in holy matrimony. This wedding is a special occasion and it is a relationship that has not been entered too lightly or without serious consideration and thought. God's plan for marriage is that it be a permanent bond. A bond like this does not happen accidentally. It comes by each of you making an unconditional commitment to one another. Such an unconditional commitment is a test of genuine love. Genuine love is more than just mere affection or emotional impulse. It's more than physical attraction. True love is a decision. A person does not fall in or out of love. A person chooses to love. And for that love to continue, you must choose to act lovingly at all times. 1 Corinthians 13, we read, Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous nor boastful. Love is not arrogant or nor rude. Love does not insist on its own ways. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things. Love never fails. When you love in this way, your relationship will be special. Your relationship will be a sharing relationship. You'll share joys and sorrows. You'll share dreams and responsibilities. You will share love and forgiveness. You will be a blessing to each other. For as much as Bryson Dean Vander Maiden and Bailey Shane Bryan considered together in holy matrimony and have witnessed the same before God and this company, and there too giving their pledge to each other and having declared the same by the giving and the receiving of rings and the joining of hands, let this be a seal of their mutual affection and love for one another. 
by the power vested in me by the state of Arkansas as the justice of the peace, I now pronounce that you are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. I get to be the first to present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Vandermaiden.